Fresh off the success of box one of my mega eBay hauls, I was keen to bring you the results of box number two as soon as possible. After the endless wash cycles and sorting that box one created, I didn't fancy tackling box three straight away, which promises to be an even bigger challenge. So I opted to go with box two, which as you can see, came consisting of sets spotlessly clean and partially built. So I figured this should be much easier. Oh, how wrong I was. I'm Brickman117, welcome back to the channel. As I unpacked the contents of box two to see what I had to work with, it very quickly became apparent that all of these partially built sets had been heavily modified, which is fine. The previous owner clearly was creative and wanted to put his own touch on all of these sets, but it's not what I'm about here. The reason I bought these halls was to try and rebuild as many of the sets as I can in their completed stock form. So I opted to strip down every single one of these sets and rebuild according to the instructions and see what I'd be left with. The first part of this process is to identify as many sets as you can from within the box. I do this by taking all of the partially built segments of sets and putting them on the floor in different areas, creating piles. I then go through all of the rubble that's left in the box, going through almost every part, pulling out every piece that I think or know is connected to that said set or color. This leaves me with a number of piles that I know have got most of the pieces from the box for those sets, plus a graveyard of parts that I'm not necessarily 100% sure could belong to a number of different sets. And it should, by rights, make the rebuilds a heck of a lot quicker. Were it so easy? Sadly, it were not so easy. In fact, this box ended up being more work than box one, which was surprising, given that at a glance, most of this looked like you'd be able to complete a lot of these sets, whereas in reality, over 50% of the sets here only had about 75% of the parts they needed to be completed. So I had to lean really heavily on my spare parts collection. I still wasn't able to 100% complete all of these sets, but I got pretty close. This Wraith, for example, as you see it now, is as far as I was able to take it with the parts from the box. I had to delve into my spare parts collection for at least 30 to 40 parts to get it where you'll see it later, but it still isn't 100% complete, sadly. Before we take a look at the completed sets, these are all the parts that I was left over with, sorted into their colour groups. At a later date, I'll add them to my spare parts collection, where hopefully in the future, they themselves will go towards completing more eBay haul sets. There was, as always, a bag of Lego parts there, as well as random parts that I've got no clue whether they're Lego, Mega, or just some other random brand. And there was also a large bag of figures with this haul as well. So there's loads of nice figures in here. I haven't gone through them all to try and get the figures for the sets. I think most of the figures for the sets that I've completed are here. A lot of them have been pop and swapped though. So that's going to take a bit of time to sort them all out. And in all honesty, they'll probably just be put aside for a job at a later date. I am, however, pleased to get one of these honor guard staffs or spikes, whatever you call them. You don't get many of these. So it's really nice to have an extra one of these for the collection. And there's also a number of grunts in here that I don't have. So although they're just grunts. I quite like grunts and I definitely like getting ones I haven't seen before. So there's a number of grunts here that I'm really pleased to add to the collection. So taking a look at what I ended up with, we'll start with the Covenant vehicles. And as you can see, first up, we've got the second Wraith that Mega produced. Still absolutely love this build today. Can't say it enough. Missing parts of these bits in here on the back of the side wings. There's some small fin pieces in there. And also there's a, a wedge piece on the back of the rear wings which sadly I didn't have in the collection so wasn't able to complete but aside from that fully complete wraith. Next up we've got this drop pod obviously not something that I had to complete but I wanted to show it because they're just so good they're just such an epic drop pod design one of the best really pleased to get an additional one. Next up we've got this rapid attack covenant ghost and I was disappointed I wasn't able to complete this one because I don't have many of them and I do think it's one of the better ghost builds it's missing some tiny little pieces on the back of the wings just here and then it's also missing a piece on the back that I didn't have in the right color this silver piece here should be dark gray to match the rest of the body but I just didn't have one so I put that silver piece on just as a temporary piece until I can get one of the uh, correct pieces but aside from that relatively complete and if I didn't point out the bits that were missing you probably might not be aware 
We've got another Covenant Locust at the back, which as you all know, we don't touch because they'll fall over. This was pretty much complete. I'm just thinking back now. I think, yeah, that is 100% complete. No stickers, but aside from that, all good to go. Moving on, we've got the Orbital Banshee. Now, this is one of my favorite Banshees. So again, really disappointed. I was missing this gray piece for the wing, which is a obviously really important part. I was also missing the small silver pieces that go on the ends of the wings. Aside from that, 100% complete. So it is almost there. I just need to find one of those other pieces. I didn't have one in my spare parts collection. So maybe in the next haul, box three, if I'm lucky, I may end up with a spare one and I can complete that Banshee. After that, we've got the Halo 5 Guardians Banshee, which I don't think is many people's favourite. It's a bit of a finicky build. It's quite an involved build. This was missing these two sword pieces at the back which thankfully I had in my parts collection, otherwise this would be incomplete too, but it is actually 100% complete, even if it's not my favorite Banshee. I also don't have many of these, so it is good to get an extra one in case I wanna do a Halo 5 diorama at some point. And then last up, we've got the Brute Chopper. Now I don't have many of these either. Now this isn't one of Mega's best builds in my opinion. It is quite finicky, very easy to fall apart. It was missing these small pieces underneath, as you can see there, but aside from that, 100% complete. So I just need to try and locate some of those pieces. Again, couldn't find them in the spare parts, so couldn't compete for the video, but I'm sure I'll come across them eventually. So in regards to Covenant vehicles, really pleased, love the Wraith, the Ghost, the Orbital Banshee, almost complete, and that drop pod. Now let's move on to the UNSC. Okay, first up, we've got this three-in-one booster frame build, which I've never built before. I've never received one of these, let alone all three sets. Three sets sold separately, with their own individual builds, or you can combine them to create this booster frame. As you can see on the wing, it's just missing a couple of silver pieces and one of the booster pieces from the back. I'm quite pleased to actually get one, even if it's not something I'd necessarily display myself. Next up, we've got Fred's booster frame, which I actually really like. Again, not an overly popular set, but I just think it's an interesting build. It's something different and it looks, it looks different. It looks cool in my opinion. The only bit missing on this one was one of those black pieces that goes on the back of one of the rockets, which was a shame, but I think I'll probably come across one at some point. Moving on from there, we've got the ever faithful Flame Hog. I just love the Flame Hog. This is such a cool set for such an old set. I can't get enough of these. Thankfully, I've collected two or three of these over recent hauls, which you know what that means? More flame hogs means I can continue the expansion. So keep an eye out for that sometime in the future. And also just to note, I haven't cleaned this. This is how clean all these sets came down. In fact, none of these sets have been cleaned. They haven't been touched by a brush, a cloth or anything. They were that clean. Next up, we've got the side build for the Warthog Resistance set. Side build's almost complete aside from a couple of one by one slope bricks. No Warthog Resistance in this haul. So that was obviously sold separately or kept by the seller. Always handy to have extra of these because you get a terrain plate with it. Plus they just look cool. Next up, we've got the Spade. And again, another set which is a bit Marmite. Some people like it, some people don't. I personally really like anything that's different. So I really like this spade and also it's a very interesting build compared to a warthog so can't get enough of those moving on we've got one of my favorite sets i love this set the smuggler interceptor is so different in the mega halo universe you just don't see this kind of vehicle i really wish they do more of this kind of stuff also, the fact this is something that you get a bit of greebling on. You don't often get greebling on Halo sets, so it's always nice to see that as well. If you're unaware, you can drop the cargo box out of the middle of this, which is a cool feature, and then inside you get some sandbags and a crate. And now that I open this, I can see I didn't actually rebuild this. This came built, and I didn't check it was built correctly. And now I look at it, I don't think it is. So I'm going to have to check that and uh, rectify that for the future. Next up, we have the gun that comes with the Orbital Banshee Blitz set. Really like this build. I love it when you get side builds like this, and they're so good for dioramas. A collection of these just look epic, hanging off the top of any structure that you build. Next up, we've got the truck from the Drone Outbreak set. Now, this is almost complete, but obviously, as you can see, it's got no stickers. And I think this is one set that really needs the stickers. It just looks too bland in my mind without the stickers. I love these trucks but it definitely needs the stickers. 
as you can see on the front it's missing the headlights and some very small black pieces which i may have but i need to look a little bit harder for hopefully i'll find them because that will complete that truck and then finally we've got the unsc scorpion sting again another set which people are divided on i personally like the scorpion sting i enjoy the build and i enjoy the actual end look of the tank it is missing a substantial amount of pivotal pieces unfortunately that i just didn't have spares of these slope bits on the side of the rear pods i didn't have any more of those so i'm missing two of those and it also needs two eight by one silver tiles that go just on the inside of those aside from that it's complete oh and the barrels on the top of the actual gun the silver barrels with the warning triangle on the side of them it's missing those two and because they're printed pieces i don't have them they're going to be tricky to come by but if you stand back it looks mostly complete and then last but by no means least the main reason for buying this haul the almighty the epic countdown set thankfully this set is complete aside from stickers maybe all the figures aren't there i don't know i've not checked yet but i've got spare figures anyway i do need to add some additional stickers to it but it was pretty much complete aside from a few parts that i had in my parts collection and i have to say at this point anyone that hasn't had the pleasure of building this set i strongly advise if you ever get the opportunity to pick this set up do so were it so easy this was the original mega fan vote winner and still to this day over 10 years later it is an almighty build it is so satisfying the saber itself is such a technical build it blows my mind every time i put one together they really outdid themselves with this set and i struggle to imagine how they'd improve it they are very good at improving sets when they remake them but this is one set that i struggle to see how many improvements they could actually make if they ever chose to do so the fact that you get all the scaffold behind it or the launch bay is just a huge bonus and while it's not a technical build it's a very straightforward build it really does give the saber a nice place to be displayed so really really pleased with this this was the reason i bought this haul it is spotlessly clean and it will definitely be going on my display shelves. I'm not sure where yet. I will have to find the stickers. I want a full set of figures and weapons and so on. But at some point, it will be on display in the showroom. If you missed out on parts one and two of this whole series, you can catch them on the end screen now. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.